as you know, I have written best-selling books. Two number one bestsellers and a number two bestseller, which number two bestseller is Donald Trump. Making America Great Again, One Soundbite at a Time, a Nato biography. Number two bestseller, not number one. I'm rather proud of the fact it was only number two because actually of the popular vote, he was only number two, not number one. Just to remind him of that. Well, you know, there are a lot of topics in this book that was written in 2017 as my catharsis for his election. And on chapter seven, bankruptcy, Trump and the United States. So Donald Trump, as you know, had many bankruptcies and had to borrow money from a lot of other people. And I predicted that he would work in his normal mode, modus operandi. What is he good at? Taking other people's money and bankrupting whatever he is running. Well, he's doing it again with the United States. Let's hear about his past indiscretions with money that I write about in here. But a lot of people, a lot of people go, Dr. J, you don't know what you're talking about. You're just making up. This is fake news. Well, I'm sorry. It is not fake news. Well, let's watch this report that goes into detail about the German lenders. Had a long running relationship with Deutsche Bank dating back to the 1990s. And they have given him, in the form of loans, a ton of money. In fact, the New York Times found that time after time, with the support of two different chief executives, the bank handed money, a total of well over $2 billion, to a man whom nearly all other banks had deemed untouchable. Now, perhaps oh, they times. deemed him untouchable because he has gone bankrupt a total of six times. But nonetheless, uh, these executives decided, mm, okay, fine, let's keep lo loaning him money. Now, uh, this particular topic is being investigated, and I'll give you the details in that, into that in just a second. But uh, in one case, this is back in 1998, Trump was looking for a $125 million loan for renovations uh, on 40 Wall Street in lower Manhattan, right? And so former Goldman Sachs trader Mike Offit was uh, willing to listen to the pitch and apparently he granted him that loan, right? So that was the very beginning of their relationship. But things started to head south. So later, Trump requested uh, an audience with the bank's bond salesman, right? So understand that Deutsche Bank was selling bonds that were tied to the real estate that Donald Trump was involved in. And these were toxic bonds, as you're about to find out. So he meets with these bond salesmen and he says, fellas, I know this isn't the easiest thing. You'll all be my guest at Mar-a-Lago. You know, this book is prophetic and it's also in, in the genre of the onion. I mean, to tell you the truth, this is all based on fact, but it's a twist. Everything that he said during the campaign, he said he was a billionaire. I question, is he really a billionaire? He says he's an outsider. I ask, is he really an outsider? And all of his celebrity, the soundbite celebrity, Donald Trump. It's all about celebrity. It's all about his personality type that is the action personality type in bank code, action. Except most people have a blend of the four types. I, in my own personal analysis of him, have come up with the concept that he is an A to the fourth power. He is an action, 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 action. There is very little of the relationship in him. There's very little of the nurturing, very a little blueprint, but mostly not because he thinks outside the box and he expects to do anything he wants outside the box. Rules do not apply to him. You see this over and over and over. This book is fantastic. I suggest that you buy the book, you read it, and then see how well it predicts his current behavior, the behavior that will continue for another 10 years if he gets in the White House this time because he has major dictator envy, and he, he will do everything in his power 
to accumulate more power and be the dictator that he has in his own mind. Buy the book and also check out the other books I have, Code Blue in the White House, Code Red in the White House, and Tourette's, Twump, and Tweets. Talk to you again soon.